Hey, hi everyone. This is Elizabeth Mendenhall, and we're got another edition here of Remax Live. We are so excited today to be joined with Michael Thorne. Michael's one of the hosts of uh, Mobile Agent TV, which is completely centered around Remax. He interviews top agents from all around, really the world. He partners with. Um, another gentleman and they just have a super cool resource. They actually kind of invented and started the hangouts and interviews with agents so it's great to have him here today and also joining us is Jamie from our Columbia office so thanks guys for joining us. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Yeah so Michael tell us tell us where where are you exactly? Uh, I'm in uh, Langley, British Columbia which is about uh, 30 minutes east of the incredible city of Vancouver and we're about 15, 20 minutes north of the U.S. border, about three hours straight north of Seattle. So what is your market size? Um, well, <laughs> right in the Langley area, we're about 110,000 people. Um, but our, our team is very, very client-focused, so we get a little pulled out of that area, depending on where we're referred and recommended to. Um, but uh, the Fraser Valley would be... I don't know, about a, in, in total about maybe about a half a million people. Okay, fantastic. And how long have you been in the business? Uh, this is my 23rd year. I was licensed on my 19th birthday, so you can do the math. Very cool. <laughs> so you mentioned that um, you have a team. Yeah. And then um, how many transactions did you all sell last year, and maybe what was your volume? Uh, it's funny that you, I knew you were going to ask that because I got a couple of preload questions, and when I saw that question, I know the honest answer is I don't know. Uh, the, the, the beautiful thing about our team is there's certain people on our team that do certain things and Jorda is in charge of our targeting and our market uh, and, and our goal setting. Uh, we are uh, consistently in the top 1% of teams in, uh, in the Fraser Valley Marketplace which would have about, I don't know, 3,000, maybe 4,000 agents and uh, we're only a team of three and we're up against teams of, you know, oh, wow. Tens and, and 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 twenties and Lee Brown size sort of team. So uh, that's where we are. We're the top one percent. But the number of transactions that's not what we that's not what my job to focus in on it. So that's a skirting the answer. But I don't know. Sure. So what are the roles of your team members? We have an extremely unique team. Uh, I know that you guys have had uh, Lee Brown on, and she's a she's a great friend and, and and a mentor of mine. And our team is very. Lee Brown team with people underneath them. Um, I started a partnership with uh, Jorda, one of my partners, back in the mid-late 90s, about 97, and we became a partnership, a 50-50 partnership. And we shared we shared everything. We shared the decision-making, the goal-setting, the transactions, just a, a pure uh, husband and wife team without being husband and wife. And then uh, Trish joined our team about six years ago. And she, you know, sort of worked into the team, found her role, found where her value was, and now we're a very unique 33, 33, 33. Uh, and this has been a partnership for now 16, 17 years, and we haven't had any conflict. And I know there'll be people out there that say there's no way you can run a team like that. And I, and I agree. It's probably not the common structure. It's just really, really worked well for us. We find our roles. Uh, we, we, we get to play to our strengths, which is the value of a team. I know that you guys have spoken with that with Lee too as well, is, is plugging people into what they're good at. But um, So that's our roles. I'm much more the creative, uh, this sort of stuff, a lot of video. Uh, Jorda is, it comes from sort of an accountant background. She's the, the dotting of the I's and the crossing of the T's person. She's a much more analytical and, 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 and far less t-shirt and jeans compared to me. And uh, Trish has just been a phenomenal fit. She's phenomenal with buyers. Um, she's very creative. She has a very visual eye for our marketing pieces. So uh, we all find our roles, but we all do individually work one-on-one -on -one with sellers and with buyers. We just sort of play to our strengths. Very good. I'm sure you would agree that you know we have interviewed Lee Brown. I think all the agents love listening to her, but her model is just not the common one. It's kind of the exception, and I think especially in our marketplaces, you know, a team of ten is a little hard to find. And so we find that most of the agents are more similar to you, or they're looking to achieve a team of two or three. So it's awesome that you're here with us today. So that's fantastic. Good information. So what do you think? Um, the or why, what's the best tool that you use from Remax or the service that you utilize? Wow, uh, that is so hard because um, we switched to Remax about four years ago. We were 18 years somewhere else, and the reasons why we came over to Remax, uh, a lot of it had to do with the tools and the back end. We were finding ourselves we were burning a lot of calories to stay cutting edge. You know, one of the things we 
pride ourselves on is staying ahead of the marketplace, staying, staying, continually having a unique value proposition that the other agents in the marketplace aren't willing to tackle until it's necessary, uh, which is a common occurrence, I guess, for agents all throughout the world. But uh, we started to realize that that the back end of Remax, Remax University, and all the other tools available there was people were going to burn those calories for us. We could utilize those tools, and then we could keep our head down and keep working. So. Um, a lot of it has to do with um, the actual tools, the back end stuff, uh, you know, the, the, the systems in place, Main Street, Lead Street, uh, is just we didn't have those tools where we were before uh, and those are so invaluable to let us just keep doing what we do really well is build relationships with buyers and sellers and provide a great experience that then builds and drives repeat referral business. Um, so just having that wealth of, of information and tools available, and, and Dave, my co-host on, on the show, says all the time is you'd never be able to utilize all the tools that Remax pr provides. You're going to have to find the ones that work for you and then, and then, and then uh, leverage those because you can be overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that's uh, out there for Remax agents. It's phenomenal. Yeah, actually, someone told me one of the best tips that they, they said, I thought was a great quote, they said, the fastest way to profitability is to use what you are already using and not reduplicate your efforts. And I think that's one thing that as a broker that, you know, a lot of times agents will come and they're like, hey, I've got an idea. It's like, you know what, you've already got it. It, you know, you're never going to, no matter what tool you find, it's hard to find that one that's 100% perfect. So if it's, you know, 95% right, go with it and use your energy marketing. So I think that's a great tip. Jamie, you want to ask the next question? Yeah. What um, What's the best thing you did differently last year that generated you the most business? I know you're real active with BombBomb Bomb and, and social media and that. Is that where you lean towards? Or? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're seeing our repeat and referral numbers decrease. Like, we're, like we're not, we were up in the, like, low 90s, and now we're coming down to the 85, not because we're not driving more repeat and referral business, it's just that all the other tools that we've been utilizing the last four or five years are really starting to come to fruition now, and so they're driving a lot more new business that then we'll put into our client base and, and, and build repeat and referral business. You know, a lot of the tools that have come along in the last five years that we've been utilizing a lot, social media, video, all this stuff, it's sort of a long-term play. It's not a quick fix of door knocking, finally hitting that really hot buyer or the seller that really wants to do business that day and, and converting right then. The things that we're doing are becoming larger than the real stream transaction is what we try to do. That is a longer play, and, and, and we've really seen sort of the pieces of the puzzle fall into place this year um, where, you know, uh, the network that we're building with REMAX agents throughout North America, it, it pays enormous dividends uh, for us this year. We're really starting to see that really take hold. Um, positioning ourselves as the social mayors of our marketplace, of our community, um, we're really seeing that. Take Michael, over. hold on. Did you just say social mayor of your marketplace? Yeah. I love that. That is a very cool term. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I wanted to highlight that for sure. Yeah, I mean, that's really what I think there's an advantage, and, and, and it's something that, 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 you know, one of the things that the couple of keynotes that I'm going to do out in the fall uh, down in the States and, and, and over in Europe is really talking about. The, the enormous opportunity today where the best days of real estate for the people that want to take a hold of what's available in 2015 are ahead of us. I think there's a lot of angst, especially in the States, that the good times are over. You know, we're no longer the keepers of the data and therefore that, that, that unique value proposition has been taken away from us. I think that's fantastic news. When I got this business in the early 90s, I had four options to generate business. Sphere of influence, well, at the time my mom was in the business. I didn't work with my mom, but my mom was in the business. So any sphere of influence, my aunt was going to use my mom, and all my buddies were 19 years old, scraping together beer money. No one was buying houses, so I had zero sphere of influence. The other options were door knocking, cold calling, or holding open houses. So those were the same three that every other real estate agent had as the unique selling, you know, the, the, the way to meet and, and, and foster relationships with uh, potential consumers. Now in 2015, w being the social mayor is what we've done. We've, we, we've built a community uh, called My North Langley uh, that has been phenomenal. Video, Facebook, social where we are pseudo celebrities in our marketplace and what we're celebrities for is being an amazing steward of the community culture of the community that we live in. We're, we're, we're a supporter of all the really important things that the people of our community really care about. 
and, 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 and we're not the voice of the community. We've just positioned ourselves to be the, like the megaphone for the community. And, and that just builds no like, and trust. And that's what this business is about. Whoever the real estate agent in your marketplace that you trust the most, that's who you will use. That's just, that's just where we are in 2015 with social proof. So being able to demonstrate that you're a trustworthy person, that you're a good person, that you have a why, people want to be involved in your why. You know, people want to support a company that has a why, and that's why we're seeing an enormous resurgence of mom and pop shops because people care now where their $10 purchase of, of, of you know, a couple loaves of bread goes. And so we're seeing that now with businesses saying that your number one isn't a why. That's not a why. Uh, and, and I think that rings hollow for the consumer, especially the younger generation of the consumer in 2050. Very cool. No, um, you've done some amazing things, and it's I, I, I knew there was a component that you had of the mobile agent TV that you're probably translating to your business, so that's good to hear about it. <laughs> so, kind of, I mean, you, you mentioned that you work with buyers. You mentioned that you work with sellers. What's the best thing you do? You think to service your buyers? Service your buyers. That's really, really what it is. It's about providing, uh, you know, we, we, we follow, our team's motto is a quote by Walt Disney, uh, and it's been our motto since day number one, and that motto is do what you do so well that people come back and bring others with them. This, 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 this thought, now we don't have, we don't have um, uh, uh, escrow. We don't have escrow in Canada. So we don't have to spend all this, all this time and energy keeping deals together. However, when I hear an agent saying, where will my next deal come from? Where, you know, I need to focus on my next deal. The next deal is right in front of you. The next deal is that buyer that you're working with or the seller that you're working with at the moment that the person is in front of you. If you spend 100% of your time focusing on your consumer instead of 50% of your time making sure your consumer is happy and 50% of your time out door knocking, holding open houses, doing a cold calling, if you just gave 100% of your effort to your current client and gave them a phenomenal experience, they will go out in today's world, once again, 2015, of this highly social world that we're living in, and, 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 and praise you everywhere you go. And, and so that is the place that you should be spending your energy. So the best thing we do for consumers, our buyers and our sellers, is just provide them a world-class experience where we are absolutely knocking their socks off. And our consumers generally generally has dealt with a real estate agent before and generally <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty low bar. So when you're able to mirror or, or contrast the experience they've had with you versus their previous experience, it turns them into raving fans and, and that's really what our, our, our business model is, is just over deliver and, and so um, that's the best thing is just take care of your client. No, no tricks. I mean, I get a lot of attention for the social that we use and the video that we use and the tech way that we use. All those things are designed to give our clients uh, an old school, belly to belly, amazing experience. So, though that a buyer will go through an entire transaction without touching a piece of paper, doesn't mean we're absent from being face to face with our client. It just means the transaction is smoother. It's a little easier. I can spend more time with them. I'm not running around you know, looking after paperwork. I'm just really, really focused on the consumer. And when I say we, I mean the entire team. Um, that's our business model. And I just think that's that's the way to win. Um, and it always has been and probably always will be. Michael, do you have a set system or um, a program that you use for testimonials? Um, no, we don't have a set system. I mean, uh, we, we, we do we do turn the camera on people quite often. I know my, uh, my partner, uh, Trish, uh, she's got a form ready for them, and she just hands over the iPad. She just just fill up the review for us, sort of thing, and and, and that goes out. Um, it, you know, if you don't, if you don't have someone, and you know, sometimes you you can. We all know this as agents. You can do the best job ever, and and the consumer just doesn't see it, just doesn't see the value. No, we 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 try to get you know a Google review here, a video review here, but it's something we need to focus a lot more on. We've looked at you know uh, the real satisfieds and that sort of stuff as as a place to generate that, but we do need to put more of a system in place. We do ask for testimonials. We we, we send out a bomb bomb, and, and we give them the option of replying with video or clicking on the link below and filling out a Google review and that sort of stuff. Once again, in Canada, we don't have the Zillows, the Trillias. We don't have those review sites the way the way this, the American. Um, agent does, um, but um, we do definitely ask for testimonials. You probably know they're coming, though. <laughs> yeah, they're coming, and I, you know, I don't really, 
I don't really care that they're coming because that once again, I, I think if you're if you're still holding on to the fact that the value proposition is we have the information, you've got to come to us. The beautiful thing about this business is uh, the way it's changed so dramatically since I got into it. You are forced to have a reason why someone should work with you. Having the information is not a reason, and now it frees up agents to actually differentiate themselves. I think it's a fantastic time to be an agent. Um, for, for those people that actually want to do the business. Having the biggest ad in the newspaper won't drive business in the future because people aren't socially connected or trust advertising. They're going to go, they're going to look for social proof. So, um, you know, whether you market or not, you know, in, in, in Zillow or Truly, I'm sure it drives. I mean, I look, I look at someone like a Chris Spiker and I look at his business model and, you know, it, 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 it's an amazing business model, something that we don't do. And I know that they care about their clients a, a, a ton. But the, you know they're just they're they're spending money to drive leads and, and they're great at converting them and they're a great team. That's just something we don't do. Um, and I think there's a lot of people that aren't interested in in, in building their business that way. Lee, Lee Brown and I have spoken at length about the different models and, and it makes her enormously happy and makes her incredibly successful. And that's all that matters is is, is that she's building the business she wants to build. Uh, and I think we should all be building that business that we want to do. Cause you got to go to work every day. If you're not happy, there's no point. Yeah, we talk with our agents a lot about the difference between marketing and prospecting. You know, marketing is that advertising to people that you don't know, trying to get them to work with you, and prospecting is really working the people that you do know and really cultivating that sphere of influence. And it is so much less expensive, it's less litigious, it's it's so much more beneficial if you can really focus on those people that you know to, to really run that business. Um, yeah. Jamie, you mentioned um, BombBomb. Um, we use BombBomb in the office for several different campaigns, right? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Michael, what? tell us how, how do you use BombBomb? Because I think they just are doing a phenomenal job of increasing the product, making it much more user-friendly. I love it. I, I, BombBomb's phenomenal. I, I, I rave about it all the time. There are... Hundreds of agents that are convinced I'm paid by BombBomb. I know for certain there's hundreds of agents out there, especially in the Remax world, that, 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 that are certain that I'm on the payroll. I am definitely not. I'm just a raving fan of theirs. You know, um, we started using it um, because of a video that I received from Ethan, a one-on-one -on -one video. And we asked him to come on Mobile Agent TV. He sent me back a video, and he just replied. You know, there's a guy standing there and says, hey, Michael, it's Ethan. And, and right that moment, I was sold. I knew it was different. I knew it was a different experience. Um, and what I think we need to do when we're providing these experiences for our consumers is we need to be aware of other experiences in our lives that make us feel good. When you go out to, to a restaurant and you have a really great experience, what was it about that experience that you can replicate and, and provide for your consumer? And so when I got this email from Ethan, I knew it made me feel different. It was, it was uh, special. It was uh, really, really engaging. It connected me. Right then I said, okay, we're all in on one-on-one on, on -on -one video. So I send one-on-one -on -one video every day, multiple times a day. I already sent four bomb bombs out this morning um, just as a way of being involved in those emotional moments of a transaction. Then for mobile agent TV, we use it for a mass sends. We let people know what's coming on the show. We use that video component of it. And then I took their convert, uh, their convert course, and I started learning about how to leverage landing pages and trip campaigns and autoresponders. We've been doing these these amazing coming soon campaigns where we're 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 generating a lead with a name, a phone number, and an email address at a dollar a lead and it sold like a number of our homes you know first day for full price or more um, these sort of tools are out there and and it's really really in inexpensive and you leverage that with something like Facebook marketing where you can hyper target your consumer so your message can be super super targeted and the person seeing that message it matches up with your with with, with your advertising the opportunities out there to, to, to drive it directly to the person to cut through all the noise and that's where we are in 2015. We're in an extremely noisy, noisy world. The ability to cut through all that um, is, 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 uh, is, we've never had an opportunity like this to market. Um, and and I, I just think there's a lot of agents that don't see the opportunities there. But bomb, bomb, from one-on-one -on -one to mass email sends uh, to we have all these things. We have the, the, the 12, 15 things that happen through a listing contract or a, a listing uh, time 
all those standard things that happen. You know, your YouTube videos now, uh, uh, here's a copy of the MLS. Those are all pre-recorded canned videos with Trish, myself, and Jorda. And so when we do get their, their YouTube video up, we just put a link saying, you know, your YouTube video is down below. And every three or four days, they see all three of us, our faces there. They, they, you know, I think one of the things that, that, that agents fail to do that provide a great experience is not doing the work. I think they don't, do not communicate what they're doing to their consumer. And so if you just told them how hard you were working and what was happening, then and they consistently they'd know you were out working, and then that would be a better experience than their previous experience with another agent. So all that is bomb bomb videos, all pre pre shot. We just pop in whatever document it is for the records, and we send it off, and then they see all three of us all the time, and it just constantly builds that relationship, and then turns into trust, which is the driver for repeat and referral down the road. So uh, it's a phenomenal tool. You mentioned that you took a class. Um, are there classes you would recommend? I, I would, I, I, if, if, yeah, uh, bomb, bomb, uh, bomb, bomb. The the convert course is phenomenal. They offer it like every two months or something like that. Um, it, 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 it's blew my mind. It, it was, uh, I think, six weeks. Uh, then one on one coaching, and they build out all your templates. They teach you how to do everything of it. Like it's, it, it blew my mind. And I was already a, a bomb, bomb user for two years before that, and seeing enormous return on it. Um, I, I would pay ten times as much for for their product, and once again, I don't get anything from it. I, I just think it's a game changer. Um, video in general is a game changer, and something that unfortunately very few agents are actually going to do. But we were Jesse Peters and I out of, out of uh, Remax in, in Winnipeg. We've got a two day video boot camp that we go or we're been going around doing or going to go do this fall and through the spring. But we were out in Ontario and we did it. And we actually gave these agents the tools to create video and just simple ideas. There's been two sets, uh, two teams, uh, Jen O'Brien and, and, and Heather Scott, that have done 31 videos in 30 days about their favorite 31 places of the community. Hit it out of the park as far as building, being, becoming a social mayor. And then uh, Dom and Jody Mancini, I think that's how you the last name. They've done that too in August, 31 videos, where they've gone around highlighting the 31 places. And they've actually hit it out of the like totally hit it out of the park, and, and they've become that social mayor. Video is like no other mar uh, marketing opportunity that real estate has ever seen, and um, and, and everyone's going to do it five years from now. So you should be doing it now in some form, and it's not really complicated. iPhone video is good enough, but uh, we put out a ton of video. There's no 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 better return in the business uh, than than video. So what's a what's a tip or advice you would give to a new agent just starting out in the industry? Ah, this is a good one. Uh, do not listen to the other people in your office. Uh, <laughs> and I don't mean that just blanket because there's some people that you can listen to. There, when the average real estate agent is 57 years old and the average consumer is in late 30s, mid 30s, there is a disconnect. I have heard hundreds and hundreds of times, we've always done it this way. Well, that's not the way we normally do it. Um, the, the, the business is so fundamentally different today than it was 10 years ago. And I don't know if it's real estate agents in general because we're our own business and, and we just get so bogged down of being in our business that we can't work on our business. Or maybe it happens in all industries. We are so stuck in not changing anything as an industry. I mean, just we just we just the old ways. The the the, the skills that it takes to be a great negotiator. Uh, to, to understand belly to belly relationships, to, to really help someone through the buying and selling process, those skills have never ever changed. Find someone in your office that has the highest ethics possible and learn those skills from them. But don't listen to door knocking, cold calling, and, and, uh, and open houses is the only way to drive your business. I'm not saying it's not. But there's so many other opportunities that will allow you to play to your strengths in 2015. If that is your strength, do that. But if your strength is video, do it. If your strength is blogging, do it. Whatever it is, play to your strengths. The opportunities are endless. And the best ideas out there are things that no one has ever thought of before. And so do not look around and say that you have to replicate what's been done for the last 20 years because you certainly don't. I think new agents have it 
made because they're not bogged down by it's always been done this way. And I think older agents have it made is because for the first 10 years or 15 years of their career, nothing changed. Nothing changed. And so they were able to get very, very good at the things that make a great agent. And as Dave, my partner there, or my co-host there on, on Mobile Agent TV says, you still got to put them in your car. And if you do not have those, you still have to put them in your car skill set, that ability to be face-to-face -face with your client, you're going to suffer. But if you aren't aware that the industry has changed dramatically, um, you know, it's going to be hard times. And I think there's a lot of agents out there, given the fact that the average age of, a, of an agent at NAR is 57, that have just got a few years left and they're not going to adapt or change fine. That's, that's, that's fine. I've got no problem with any of those people not changing. But if you have any envisions of growing your business or still being in the business for 10 years, you have to fundamentally change your business. Um, and uh, or else the society will just technology and societal change don't don't care about you, and they're going to take place. And um, we're just living in a very very different world. And I think it's awesome uh, for business. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily awesome for for society, but it's awesome for business. So if you had to start your business over today, what would you do different? Uh, well, I would do the things that I didn't have an opportunity to. I would f absolutely go all in on video. First thing I would do is I'd go all in on video. Um, but when I got in the business, that wasn't an option. So it's not like I would go back and none of these things existed. So that's what I mean. I think new agents are, are, are you know, just overwhelmed with opportunities. The other thing I would do is I would give up on the thought, not saying you don't need to have one, that having a real estate presence online on Facebook will ever work. Um, I just don't think that will ever work. I think building uh, an online presence about being the, the, the mayor or, or the go-to person for your community is an absolute home run and it's been duplicated elsewhere and it always works. But the amount of time that people are actually interested in buying selling real estate um, it's very, very short and then they don't care anymore. And so socially that doesn't really, that model online doesn't work socially. Um, but I would do your job and I would um, constantly uh, take care of your past clients and, and just constantly build that out. That's, that's what we did. But differently I would, I would go all in on video day one. Very great. Michael, we've got one more question to ask you, but before we do that, is there anything else you want to add or say about Mobile Agent TV or any of your other experiences to share with our agents? Um, I, well, you know, when we look at things like Mobile Agent TV, which, which Dave and I did, was a, was a curiosity project that if it failed, it failed. And, you know, uh, curiosity is, is a really, really valuable um, character trait uh, today, being curious about something, trying something, failing, learning from it. Uh, whether it's Mobile Agent TV, My North Langley, Fraser Valley 5, or any of the things that we've built, the opportunity to become larger than the real estate transaction is where the opportunities lie. Uh, a, a recent report from Harris Interactive in the amazing real estate book put out by, Game Chain, uh, by, put out by Real Trends called Game Changer um, found that what buyers wanted in 2014 from a real estate agent was number one, the ability to negotiate which doesn't take place until the very, very end of the transaction after the, the relationship's already been solidified. Uh, but number two was uh, information about the process. What's it like to buy your first home? What's it like to buy an investment home? What's it like to buy a recreational property? People want that information and they're going to search for that information. Be the person that provides that information. Number three thing that they wanted from their uh, agent uh, was information about the community. What are the schools like? What are the parks like? What's the sense of community like? What's transportation like? Provide the information because in the in the zero moment of truth world that we're living in, if you, you can't show up when people are ready to buy, you have to show up when they're ready to learn. And if you're the person there when they're ready to learn, providing that information, building that relationship, they will use you because you have given them value. And people in our, in our innate human nature feel the need to to even the score. So when someone has done something great for you or provided you value, you in turn feel the need to level the score. That's why we tip a great uh, a server is because we feel that they gave great service and we need to level that score. So um, give people the information they're looking for. Become larger than the real estate transaction. Uh, be there before they're ready to buy. Be there when they're ready to learn. And the opportunities to do that are phenomenal. So look for those opportunities. Look for all that expertise that you have that the Zillows, the Trillios, the Realtor.com will never, never stand in front of your local elementary school 
and say that this school has this great arts program and they also have you know French as a second language starting in grade six and the, you know they don't never going to tell those stories and so go up there and tell those stories and you will be blown away by the response from the co community and also the consumers that are that are desperately looking for that information um, that's the huge win is becoming larger than the real estate transaction I know I rambled on there but I think that's the key to success um, going forward and, and, and I know there's a lot of people out there is you know work from a place of plenty give and then you'll get back but 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 just taking all the time doesn't fly. And Michael, how do you get that information out there? Like just on your website, direct email videos on Facebook or? Yeah, I mean, I think the opportunities are, are enormous. So when people are looking for stuff, I think it's important to have a blog and, and on your and on on your website to have you know specific neighborhood you know information uh, and provide it there. I think putting together a little community online on Facebook where. So every day, people come to the My North Island community to, to, to share something. Like local elementary school is doing a, a, a craft fair fundraiser. And so they send you that and say, would you please share that with the My North Island community? Now, we have more interaction uh, than, than, than imaginable on that page. We have a bigger audience than both the local newspapers put together online. So people come to us to share that information. So if we share that information about this craft fair at the local elementary school, if no one, no one reads that, if no one engages with that except for the parents of the kids at that school, you've already won. You've already won by being the good person to help this fundraiser that takes the grade seven class on a field trip. You know, when you're that resource, when you're that expert, um, you're supposed to know as the real estate agent, you're supposed to know everything about the community. Leverage that opportunity. So Facebook's a phenomenal way to, 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 to do it. But also blog. Make sure that it's searchable. Uh, video. I mean, the number one place I go when I want to learn something is YouTube. That's just where I go when I want to learn how to use a piece of equipment or when I want to learn how to do something. I go to YouTube and I type it in. So, what are the schools like in Langley? If I were to type that in, you know, the the videos come up. So, just it's it's easy to get the content out. It's harder apparently to create the content. But no one else is doing it. And the opportunity is phenomenal to become larger than the real estate transaction. So absolutely everywhere. Blog, Facebook, YouTube, I would put it out all there. I'd repurpose it everywhere. Awesome. So Dave, I don't think it would be, uh, since we've got you to, uh, we have to share your Twitter. I know that when you start every episode, you go to everybody's Twitter page and read what it says about them. So it's at Mobile Agent TV. It's Dave Fakwir of Remax Preferred Professionals in New Jersey, Michael Thorne of Remax Little Oak in British Columbia, discuss mobile for Remax agents in an online show. <laughs> so we want to make sure you know about uh, Mobile Agent TV. Great content, um, especially he's got great guests, great interviews. If you want to learn more information, there is absolutely tons of great content there. So last, uh, we want to finish up and ask you, why do you love Remax? Oh, okay, so this show is going to last for another 25 minutes. Um, I love Remax for, for, for a lot of it, but uh, the, 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 the simple fact of it is, is, and this will sound like I'm pandering, but I'm not, the people are incredible. Um, what, 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 what has been very evident since we started Mobile Agent TV was successful people come from a different mindset from those that are, are struggling or, 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 or trying to be successful. When the, 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 the amazing people at Remax, when I pick up the phone and I call someone where I see another agent doing something really great and I go, how are you doing it? Why are you doing it? What's working? What's not working? I have never yet had someone say I'm not willing to share. You know, there's this, this place of absolute openness and sharing has blown me away and I think it comes from successful people understand that their business isn't jeopardized by by raising the bar with other people around them and so even though I was at a smaller company before a very very regional small company there is a much more sense of family amongst the hundred thousand Remax agents uh, than there was in a small regional uh, uh, brand um, and that goes from people down the street from me to across the country to around the world um, the amount of awesome sharing uh, uh, professionals that the Remax brand has from head office people down in LLC, from the regional stuff here in Western Canada, uh, from the Integra people uh, to, to, to every other agent. Uh, 
the amount of knowledge out there is phenomenal. The amount of knowledge that is shared in these private Remax Facebook groups where people just lay it out on all the line uh, is invaluable to improving your business. The conferences, the amount of sharing and honesty that happens in the lobby where people just sort of open up and tell you what's working, what's not working, has improved our business phenomenally. Um, everyone that's come on the show, we, we've never had a no. We've never had a no. And it's, you know, it's putting people out. They've got to come on for an hour. They gotta give up their their secrets. Everyone is so excited to come on and share. Um, still to this day, four years in, blown away. Absolutely, the people of Remax are are phenomenal. It has fundamentally changed our business, my personal life, uh, my professional life. It's been it's been, you know, it's one of those ones you go, what, what, why didn't I come sooner? Uh, and I think there's a lot of agents out there maybe considering a change. I, I don't know why we waited so long. It was me. I, I'm the reason why we waited so long. The other two were, were ready to change, but um, it's been uh, it's been phenomenal. Well, we couldn't agree more, and I think um, it's because of people like you we get to interact with, and we know that Remax is the best network. So we are so thankful to have you on Remax Live today. Uh, so if you are, yeah, if we're at a convention and we see you, or if you see Michael in the hallway, or say hi. She's certainly willing to share with everybody and we wish you the best of success in 2015 and on behalf of Jamie and I we are so proud and honored to have you as part of the network. Thanks Michael. Thanks Jamie. Thanks Elizabeth. It was awesome. I appreciate it very much.